uh, one more call after it. We'll see. Derek in Nevada is on with an argument from Reason. I don't. Uh -oh. How you doing, Derek? Hey, I'm fine. How are you? I'm I'm good. I'm I'm reading the note here from the call screener. It says argument from Reason: intentionality is built into the fabric of the universe, which must be grounded in God's existence. Cool. H how do we? I, I'm confused. How do we go about demonstrating intentionality in the fabric of the universe? Uh, well, I think that that's probably the easiest thing to demonstrate. I think it's just really tantamount to saying, I think it's tantamount to saying that naturalism is false, right? And so if you think that naturalism is false, then there are, uh, that means there are norms built into the world, and that just means that there exist values in the world. And so I think it's... I'm sorry, I don't want to be a dick, but uh, literally nothing you said answered or addressed my question about how do you demonstrate intentionality in the universe. You certainly don't begin by assuming naturalism is false. How do you demonstrate intentionality? Well, I, I take the counterposition to be contradictory. Like intentionality is just. I, I, so, so, so Derek, Derek, I, I, Derek, we're, well, I Derek, this I is explain the contradiction. Derek, I, I just want to explain the contradiction. Derek, and then I'll let you. No, I tell you what, you won't decide what you will or won't let me do. Okay, let's start there. I've asked you a couple times now about intentionality in the universe and how one would demonstrate it, and you've started by saying that you just assume that naturalism is false, and then you begin, and then you follow that up with you, you uh, think that the. The, the, the contradictory position to intentionality in the universe is uh, false on its face. Well, that's your opinion. Demonstrate and tell me how we can demonstrate intentionality in the universe. Why should I ask the, the question that's foundational to your whole point and you can't get to it? No, I, I did get to it. You just didn't listen, but I'll explain again. Okay, so. No, sir. The, no, sir. I asked you how to demonstrate intentionality in the universe, and your first response was to reject naturalism, correct? I said that I think it's tantamount to rejecting naturalism. Correct. That's what you said, right? And then when I, when I objected to that, you went on to suggest that the opposite would be unthinkable, which is yet another opinion. So don't tell me that you have explained this and that I somehow missed it because that's a lie. Explain how to demonstrate intentionality in the universe. Right, so the counter position is self-refuting. It's self-refuting because if you believe that there are no beliefs, which all I take intentionality to be is that there exist beliefs. That if you believe that there are no beliefs, then you're just, you just have a contradictory position because that presumes that you have a belief. Eric? If you believe Derek? there are no beliefs. No, Derek, I'm saying, I'm not talking about denying beliefs. I have beliefs. My beliefs are not a demonstration of the intentionality on, in the universe. My intentionality isn't, an, isn't a universe intentionality. How do you demonstrate intentionality in the fabric of the universe? Not just Matt can have a belief and can have an intentionality. How do you demonstrate intentionality in the design and the, in the facts of the universe? Well, it's just that your beliefs are directed, right? I mean, my beliefs are not directed by an agent in the universe other than me. I, you, you were talking about the you were talking about intentionality in the fabric of the universe, and when I ask you how you demonstrate that, you talk about it's. It's evidently self-evident unless you want to deny that beliefs exist. Well, I don't deny that beliefs exist, and it's still not self-evident that there is intentionality, design, in the fabric of the universe. So how do you demonstrate that? I'm trying to, I was trying to explain. I don't know why you wouldn't let me clarify. When I say it's built into the fabric of the universe, I'm saying that there are normative facts, right, as opposed to non-normative facts. That's when I say it's built into the fabric of the universe. I'm saying there are normative facts. That's what it means. The universe is such a way such that there are normative facts. Are you still there? Am I still connected? Yeah, I'm bored silly because you're, there, are norm, there are facts about the universe. I agree. There are beliefs in the universe. I agree. But you're saying that because intentionality you you claim that intentionality is built into the fabric of the universe and that this must in fact be grounded in god's existence you haven't demonstrated that there is intentionality 
in in the structure in the facts in the fabric of the universe you've demonstrated that the universe contains intentionality from individual agents but show that the universe has intentionality that necessarily points to god's existence how do you demonstrate that well this is what well, this is what I was saying. I'm not even sure that we disagree. It sounds like you think we disagree where we don't, right? Because the one thing we I absolutely disagree. You're calling to argue for God's existence. Why aren't you letting me finish? Well, we might I tell you what, I'm going to hang up on you because I, you I have asked you repeatedly to demonstrate something and you keep saying you did or you keep saying you're going to every get to it and get to it, get to it, you get to it, to it now. Every single time I attempt, you cut me off. You start interrupting. I try to. All right, jackass. Keep bitching. Bitch somewhere else. Goodbye. I didn't cut you off. I asked you a question and you didn't answer it. And then I asked you again and you didn't answer it, but you claim that you did answer it. And I don't play that game. 